Hi, Maria here. Welcome to my channel. Today, I'm excited to share with you five impeccably sophisticated fragrances. But before I get started, if you haven't subscribed, please feel free to hit that button. Join the Weird and Wonderful family. It would be amazing to have you part of the community. And without further ado, let's get into this. Now, when I think sophisticated, what I think of is ones that work really well as uh, signature fragrances. So they're classy, sophisticated. Uh, they're kind of understated, uh, elegant, that kind of vibe. The first fragrance is Elie Saab Le Parfum. This is, uh, oh my goodness. It's so, so beautiful. So the star of this show is definitely Orange Blossom. So it's very floral and it's very heady. Uh, so if you're allergic to flowers or you find you get hay fever, that sort of thing easy, this one may not be for you. I just think it's an absolutely spectacular fragrance. So um, definitely the Orange Blossom is the star. You can smell that over any other floral, but there's also Jasmine in this. And then the base has Honey, Patchouli, Rose, and Virginian Cedar. Uh, so the cool thing about this is although you get that floral, I don't notice the rose at all, don't really notice patchouli, definitely get that honey in the cedar. What makes this so beautiful is the fact that that honey kind of sweetens up the orange blossom, but then the cedar and probably the patchouli too kind of grounds it so it doesn't get so wildly floral that it's out of control. Now, interestingly about this fragrance, even though it's very classy, this is a compliment getter for me. Uh, like almost every time I've worn this fragrance, I get a compliment. The other thing that's really interesting about this is guys seemingly uh, tend to really love this fragrance. Men in general seem to like florals, sweeter florals. So this one, although it's um, very classy, there's an alluring quality to this one as well. The only thing that I would say about this one is that it certainly isn't for everybody because it's so floral. So keep that in mind. But if you get a chance to sniff this one, you definitely need to. Like it's just, it's so beautiful. Next very sophisticated fragrance is Passoire by BDK. Now this fragrance, it's a little bit sweeter than the other ones. It's sweet, uh, there's a juicy component to this. There's a hint of spice in it. Uh, and then, yeah, it just smells sweet, juicy, floral, but somehow extremely sophisticated. It's got ginger and uh, black pepper, which I think is giving it that bit of uh, bite or spiciness. It's not like super spicy. It's certainly not heavy. It's quite light and airy. It's also got quince and mandarin orange. So I think it's that quince that's lending to that juiciness in the fragrance. And there's some florals, but I'm not really getting a whole lot of the floral. Like the florals are just kind of supporting, but somehow it's just very classy, sophisticated. Uh, this one, it's a little bit more playful. Uh, a, a hint of flirtiness to it, yet remaining still quite demure and understated. So absolutely de delicious. It's got a little bit of a mouth-watering quality. Uh, the longevity isn't amazing on this one. Like you get about five hours, but it's absolutely beautiful. Definitely on my wish list. Next fragrance I have for you is Prada La Femme. I've talked about this one uh, quite a lot in the past. I haven't worn it very much. Somehow it got associated with summer for me. Uh, even though this is a fragrance that you could wear all year round. Now again, this one's a lot more floral. Um, and the, the main floral that I smell is the tuberose. Um, now that said, as this begins to dry down, it also has Rajapani, Ylang Ylang, and Iris. Um, but I primarily get that tuberose, but it's not a bubblegummy tuberose. It's more of a floral tuberose. Now that said, as this starts to dry down, you get this kind of softness from carrot seeds. Uh, I was told that carrot seeds are similar to orris root, so kind of a soft, uh, slightly powdery-esque, but it's not really powdery, but just a softness. What really makes this shine is that some spices start to come out and those yellow florals kind of start to emerge. So it feels slightly tropical, just ever so slightly tropical. There's beeswax in this one and vanilla and vetiver. So the vetiver with the spices, the vanilla, uh, there's just this beautiful kind of floral uh, a spiciness that comes in. It's not like, it's not heavy spices. It's just kind of like 
on the wind spices. So I think this is beautiful. Now this fragrance smells uh, very clean because of those florals. It smells like an extremely luxurious, uh, fancy hotel shampoo, like in a very high end, like upscale hotel. Uh, this would be the scent of the body products. So the lotion, the shampoo, everything would smell like this. And I've said before, this reminds me of like a, a, a high profile CEO. It actually reminds me of Miranda Priestly from uh, Devil Wears Prada. So that kind of vibe is what I get from this fragrance very sophisticated, classy. I like the way it develops. Uh, but again, you've got to like those white slash yellow florals to like this. The next sophisticated fragrance I want to share with you is Fragrance Dubois Milano. Now, of course, Fragrance Dubois, super uber pricey, but it's just a beautiful fragrance. Now, the interesting thing about this one, it's got a real beautiful sweetness. It feels delicate, slightly airy. Uh, very understated and sophisticated, yet it's got a leather note in it, which gives it a, a slight, almost cigarette-y vibe uh, without it becoming heavy at all. So it's just kind of like there, it's present, but it doesn't drag it down or make it uh, deep. It, it stays like airy and light. Uh, the more that I wear this, the more I fall in love with it. Um, this feels like uh, old money for sure. Uh, it feels like someone, I've said this before, it feels like someone that lives in Milan. Uh, she dresses so impeccably with kind of a, a navy trouser with a, a white uh, shirt, maybe open with a little bit of pearls. Uh, she has a blazer that she wears with it. Uh, loafers, she likes reading, she sits in coffee shops, drinks her cappuccino or whatever, reads her book or does some paperwork, but she smells rich, sophisticated, classy, put together, but very understated. To me, this is a very elegant smelling perfume. Uh, and yeah, I love it when they're kind of delicate and that's what this one is. This has uh, some fruity notes in it that smell oftentimes to me like dried fruits. So it's fruity, it's slightly peppy, uh, it's fruity and energetic, but not somehow overly sweet. It's just there, almost a candy-esque vibe actually. The floral in this is jasmine. There's some saffron in this as, as well. There's thyme, there's bergamot. It, I, I don't really notice any of those notes other than the dried fruit and the leather but it's very, very pretty. Um, definitely, definitely classy, sophisticated, yet understated. Somehow that leather is what makes this, to me, so sophisticated smelling. Uh, so very, very interesting fragrance. Really glad I have it in my collection. Last sophisticated fragrance I have for you is also by BDK, and it is Gris Charnel. This fragrance is so so beautiful. This is a black tea fragrance that has fig and cardamom in the opening. So there's this hint of spiciness. It's a little bit of a colder smelling fragrance. It smells gray to me, so it smells kind of almost smoky, uh, yet somehow humid. I, I don't quite get it. There's iris and vetiver in this one and sandalwood and tonka bean in the base. It kind of reminds me of what I anticipate a London fog would smell like. So there's some sort of kind of creaminess probably from the sandalwood, a little hint of a little bit of spiciness from that vetiver. Uh, and then that tea is just so, so pretty. Um, what it reminds me of, I've said this before, it would be like if you put smoke uh, under a cloche and so you see the swirling smoke or the fog that's kind of what it smells like to me like if a smell had a look that's what this would, would look like so it's very there's a, a cleanness to it this one is very understated very interesting very unique I imagine someone in New York uh, wearing this fragrance uh, maybe jeans and a t-shirt with a blazer. So kind of similar look to the Milan, uh, maybe a little bit more casual, but always so sophisticated. So this is your sophisticated, slightly sexy, mysterious mom. 
uh, would wear this or or a business woman like anyone could wear this one. Now the longevity on this one isn't good at all. So three, four hours is what I kind of get out of it, but it's just so, so beautiful. So Gris Charnel by BDK. Those are my five sophisticated fragrances that I wanted to share with you today. What about you? What do you find uber sophisticated, whether it be in your collection or not? Please share it in the comments. I always, always love uh, hearing your comments and your thoughts, your suggestions. Uh, I'll take screenshots of them and go sniff them if I can. So uh, please feel free to leave them in the comments. And other than that, I hope you have an amazing week and we'll talk to you soon.